Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, what are the penalties for an MIP being a minor in possession case? In Florida, possession of alcohol by a minor is always a misdemeanor offense. However, it's what we call an enhanceable offense, meaning that both the degree of the offense and the maximum po possible penalties are going to increase if you have a prior conviction for the same MIP charge. Your first MIP is a second-degree misdemeanor. It's punishable by a statutory max of up to 60 days in jail, six months probation, and a $500 fine. The kicker is that a conviction for MIP carries a mandatory DL suspension, although the court does have discretion under the statute to order your suspension to occur for anywhere from a minimum of six months to a maximum of a year. A subsequent MIP conviction subsequent meaning that you have a prior conviction, not just an arrest, is treated as a first-degree misdemeanor, and this is going to hold true regardless of whether it's your second or tenth MIP charge. Unlike some other enhanceable crimes, MIP can never become a felony. That said, a second MIP charge is punishable by a max of up to 364 days in jail, 12 months probation, and a thousand dollar of fine. Again, an MIP conviction carries a mandatory license suspension, but in the event of a second, the court must revoke your privilege for a period of two years. If you get arrested for being an MIP, please, pretty please, hire a lawyer. A skilled and trained attorney may be able to help you to avoid some or all of these consequences. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.